Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Today, we got the brand new Tag Der Toten trailer slash intro cutscene cinematic and we are going to be talking about it, breaking absolutely everything down. The trailer is about two and a half minutes long and this is it guys. This is the finale of the Ether storyline. This is it. On Monday, we have the final map in all of Ether for maybe a full year until they reboot the series. But as we know, the premise and Ultimus crew, this is the last trailer. So hopefully you guys go to enjoy this. I'm very, very excited for this map. Again, I will have full coverage, full playthroughs on everything Operation, on the new Operation on September 23rd, first on PlayStation, PlayStation 4. <clears throat> Pardon me. And yeah, without further ado, guys, hopefully you guys go to enjoy the trailer and the trailer breakdown, and I will see you guys all at the end of the trailer to break everything down. See you guys soon. With this power and the means to control it, we can go wherever we choose. At last, we can return to our homes, our old lives, our families. I've got to be honest with you, Samuel. I don't have even the slightest inkling as to what an Agarthan device is. He didn't say you had to know what it was, Mars, and just how to build it. Trust me, guys. It won't be that complicated. In fact, my German pal says it's going to be a schlomp dunk. It's one thing trusting you, Stu. It's a whole other thing trusting your imaginary brain buddy. Uh, Rasma, how can you even say that? He's the sweetest guy in the whole universe. He wants us to help save it! The universe! Thank you, Sammy. I moved. This is nearly over, child, but one thing remains. The one who perpetuates this madness. He must be... I wish I did not have to ask this of you, but... Only you can do it. Alright, so there we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that trailer break. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that trailer. It was a very interesting trailer. And to start off here with the breakdown, here we have Nikolai talking about how once this mission is over, that this is going to be the end of their journey and then they can return to their original lives, which is very, very interesting. It appears that this is kind of an alternate reality of what they're living in and that once they're done with this, then they're done for good. That's how it's going to be. And here we can see the lighthouse and now we see the victus crew spawning on the lighthouse of call of the dead just like we saw in the other previous cutscene which had them in blood of the dead so they went into a teleporter and they ended up in the lighthouse of call of the dead so that's very very interesting and it also appears that we are going to be playing as the victus crew within this map which is super interesting as well now it's kind of weird that we're finishing zombies in the ether storyline playing with the Victus crew, not the original crew, but I'm sure that when this map actually comes out, we will be playing with all 12 of the characters. So there may be a, a game where you play as Richtofen, Stuhlinger, and Primus, Primus Richtofen. Who knows how that's going to work, but we'll see what happens when the map comes out. But as we can see here, 
this appears to be Call of the Dead, but I wanted to pause here because it also doesn't look like Call of the Dead at the same time. Now, it is a little bit harder to see in the original Call of the Dead because of the fog everywhere and you can't really see that big mountain in the background or and you can't really see some other certain things. But for some reason, I'm kind of getting a vibe that this isn't the original Call of the Dead, that this is a more different version of Call of the Dead. And the reason I say this is because some of the buildings just don't really fit the original Call of the Dead. For example, the building in the back left hand side of your screen or the bottom left side of your screen just doesn't look like it was in the original. Now, I could be wrong on that. All I know is that the lighthouse and the building next to the lighthouse are exactly the same from the original Call of the Dead. The ship type facility in the background on the right hand side of your screen also doesn't really look like something that we've ever seen before in zombies. So this appears to be a Call of the Dead, but it seems to be a different type of Call of the Dead, if that makes any sense at all. So it's obviously at a different time because we're not in Call of the Dead anymore, but it just looks like this is a more expansive version of Call of the Dead. Again, we'll have to see come the launch of the new operation. And for those of you guys who don't know, there actually is going to be a full live stream on Monday talking about everything with the new operation. So stay tuned for that as well here on the channel. But yeah, very, very interesting here seeing this new different Call of the Dead. As you can see, this is either an early morning or sunset setting for the map, which is very, very cool as well. So let's continue here. And what's very, very interesting about this next part is that we can see the four Victus crew characters talking to each other. Russman is kind of making fun, poking fun at the new Rick Toffin, and Stu uh, Samuel Stulinger says that Rick Toffin is has a plan to save the world and that this is the nicest Rick Toffin that we have. But this is the ultimus richtofen that samuel stuhlinger is talking to which is very interesting and is wrong and samuel uh, the premise i mean ultimus richtofen is not the good richtofen which is very nerve-wracking in this cutscene. so now we jump into a different scene here which sh shows right after the beginning of the cutscene now i don't know if that trailer that we got about a week or two ago showing the map is actually the first half of the intro cutscene cinematic and this is the second half of the intro cinematic or if this is just the intro cin cinematic we haven't had any confirmation about anything like that but I do think that this is the second half of the intro cinematic which is very good because I hope that the intro cinematic is very very long and as you can see here in the original cutscene they said they're gonna party and have a lot of fun and as you can see they definitely had had a lot of fun as you can see they're all passed out drunk on the by the campfire which is of course the frozen forest from black ops 3 and again i love this art style a lot of people have mixed opinions on this art style but i personally love this art style and i think i actually missed something really quick i'm going to pause it right here we actually heard some Primus or Ultimus Richtofen talking to Samantha, which was really interesting. Again, I don't have any sound in my ears, but I remember that specifically from the trailer, and that is super, super interesting. But now the most interesting part of the trailer at all that has the whole zombies community interested and just really surprised is this scene coming up in about two or three seconds. But yeah, again, this is the end of ether it's crazy like i haven't been involved in, in call of duty that long but this is ending 10 years worth of zombies for some people but now we see the most interesting part of the trailer here we see ultimus richtofen as a as a zombie that's right ultimus richtofen is a zombie right now in this trailer which is freaky but interesting at the same time i don't know what's going to happen with this but this is very very interesting and i've never seen richtofen like this before and that is absolutely crazy so that is something which will be very interesting when the map comes out on the 23rd and then the trailer comes to an end over here with this scene right here with the full moon and it panels down to Samantha, Eddie, and Nikolai, ult uh, Primus Nikolai, which is honestly my favorite character in all of Zombies. I absolutely love Primus Nikolai. He is definitely my favorite character in Zombies and always has been ever since Black Ops 2 Origins. So as we can see here, he is talking to Eddie and Samantha, telling them about the war that they're about to fight and that you know this is a big deal and 
Nikolai actually tells Samantha that she is the only one who can defeat Dr. Monty, which is extremely interesting. And again, I am very, very excited for this map to come out on the 23rd of September. But there we go, guys. That is going to do it for my full breakdown of the brand new Zombies map, Tag Der Toten. And again, let me know what your guys' thoughts are of this game and of this map down below. Let me know what your thoughts are as well about the Ether Story ending. For me personally, I haven't really been around the Ether story that uh, that much. Again, I've just started playing Zombies in Black Ops 2, but I followed all of Black Ops 3, all of Black Ops 4. So I do know, you know, what the gist of the storyline is. I've even read the full Cronorium uh, because I think it's a very, very interesting story. But what are your guys' thoughts of the end of Ether? I think that just like everybody else i think it is a good time for it to end but i do also think that it's a little bit too early to end the story i think there's a good two or three maps that they could have made to finish this story off but this is it this is what we have tagged or toten is the final map and anyway if you guys are excited as well for the brand new map make sure to leave a like if i know black ops 4 is kind of on this way out at the moment but I'm still going to cover everything. There's going to be a full playthrough on my channel of everything of the new operation. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you check out all my other recent Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare videos. And I will see you guys all in some more Black Ops 4 videos or Modern Warfare videos very, very soon.